on here we have the different sizes, extra small, small, medium, and large. Uh, extra small is going to be for wearables, watches, um, anything with a small screen. I think we used an extra small for your camera too, or did we use a small? Uh, no, we used a small for the camera. But it cut two, so you probably mm -hmm. could, you can just yeah. use an extra small. So for like a camera screen, whatever, um, small is going to be the one that you use almost all the time. Um, the size right here. So this one's going to be for all major phones. It fits, you know, Note 8. 7 plus. Oh, it even does the notes? Yeah, it does everything nice. edge to edge, doesn't matter. Um, you'll never really have to buy a medium for a phone. I mean, it's they're all the right size for small. Okay. Uh, mediums for the um, smaller tablets and for like smaller Chromebooks and stuff. So the medium is about that big. Do the uh, iPad minis and stuff. And then the large is going to do smaller laptops and then um, all the iPads up until the 12.9. So you can do 10.5 Pros and down, uh, just not the 12.9 with the machines. That's okay, because most people don't have those. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this down. And we already scanned the barcode. Yeah, already scanned it, so we're going to tape this down. And the kit comes with this roll right here has 2,000 uh, stickers on it. You can reuse them too, but you're just basically going to anchor it on all four corners so that way it does not move around. Um, and you just want them on the edge, especially if you're doing like a Note 8 or a bigger phone because it's going to need more material. So you don't want it, you know, overlaying all the way over here. So do the side, the bottom. Uh, it's just barely overhanging, like just by like just a millimeter, so it's very small. All right, what well, it it is loaded up. Okay. I'm just gonna line it up with these rollers here, uh, and it tells you on the sheet where the uh, load point is. Mm -hmm. So you just put it in here, and there's gonna be a button right here that says load, and it's loaded. So you'll see it's it's actually stuck in the machine. He's gonna start printing it, cutting it. So the app's then going to ask you successful or failure, and obviously it looks like it's success. You'll be able to tell here if there's like a crazy cut through it or something, uh, but it looks perfectly good. So we're going to go ahead and unload it. It's just going to spit the sheet back out. Um, it's probably really hard to see. I don't even know if it's worth it, but um, you can see the outline perfectly. Uh, you can see where the ear mesh is and all that. And it's good to have tweezers by, which I do need to go grab. Can you go for it? Yeah. Let's edit this out. Yeah, no worries, because I'm going to grab two tweezers to pull those uh, little tabs out. All right. So, you got the tweezers, um, and you're just going to want to pull out the, um, the hole for the proximity and the, the ear speaker and all that, because uh, once you peel it off, It'll kind of stick to it a little bit. It's kind of hard to pull from there. So, um. what this is for is for some reason, if you, the device you need the protector for is not on the database, which is going to be very rare. But if that does happen, um, all you need to do is, and this comes with your machine, is take the device, just line it up on the grid and all you would do is snap a picture of it from above email it over to the email that's right here it has the instructions all the way uh, email it over and they have three full-time template designers so they'll get the email find the phone find the dimensions get everything you know situated and within 24 hours they will have the uh, the template for whatever you needed onto the app you'll be able to print it no problem um, since it's cloud-based Anytime anyone adds anything, you get it too. So, I mean, if some guy adds it halfway across the country, you get it, or halfway across the world, you get it, etc. Um, so, this is very beneficial. So, you essentially can always do something, no matter what. No matter what device, you can get it on there. If it's not on there, if it's on there, you can, you're good to go. Um, you know, so there's really no excuses for not being able to do a screen protector for, you know, everything. So, there's 
that and then install. All right, so uh, your kit's gonna come with the bottle of install gel, uh, last about 500 to 1,000 installs. Um, so that's that right there. If you need a replacement, they're very cheap, they're less than $6. Um, these are the two squeegees that it comes with. Um, there's a felt end, which is the one that I definitely recommend to use. Um, if you have any spots that are kind of hard to get out, you can use the plastic end. Just be careful not to like put a lot of pressure down because you're gonna, you know, you can tear into it. At the end of the day, it's still, you know, it has plastic and if you push down and, and rip, it's just gonna rip it. So I definitely suggest using the cloth ends. They will not rip it at all. So, um, go ahead and wipe this off. Once I get peeled up just a little bit, I'm going to put a little bit of spray on my both my fingertips so that way it doesn't stick to the screen protector. Okay. And then just slowly pull it, just in case there's any small snag or anything. There won't be, but I just want to make sure. Then I'll put at least three sprays. Um, that's good because it's a small phone. If you have a bigger phone, you can put a couple extra. Um, but you just want, you know, good coat. And then you're going to put some on the actual phone itself. So don't feel like you're using too much. It's just liquid. It's alcohol-based. It will evaporate. So you don't really have to worry about getting it, you know, exactly where it needs to be first try because it will slide around pretty well. So it's not going to start adhering because there's so much liquid underneath. You know, you just want to mess around with it and make sure that... Because it does go all the way to the plastic framing. So this right here looks perfect. It's lined up with the front camera hole, proximity hole, ear speaker, and home button. So now that I have it where I want it to be, I'm just going to put my fingers on it so I can hold it down a bit. And I'm going to start gently working out the water. So I like to draw a line down the middle just to adhere it just a little bit and then push out from each side. So now you will see, you'll be able to see, you know, a couple little dots here and there. And what that is, is just a little bit of the, um, since it's alcohol based, it's a little bit of the alcohol left over. Um, after 24 hours, it will 100% go away. Um, and you will not have any other residues or, or anything on here. It just takes a little bit for that to evaporate and for it to fully cure. Um, I would say wait at least 20 minutes before you give it back to your customer. Um, just give it some time to dry out, make sure it's, you know, it's on there because, you know, just in case we had a little bit of extra liquid, you know, you obviously don't want your customer, you know, putting all their force and swiping up and, you know, bunching it up. So just give it a little bit of time, um, you know, but it's, it's a very easy install. No headaches, no nothing. So this is all done. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see but it's, it's all the way edge to edge, so it actually touches the plastic framing all the way around. You can run the home button and everything. So that's a very good install. 